Like most teenagers, mornings for Asada Gilmore are hectic. Between getting enough sleep and finding the right look, there is little time for anything else. I wake up like six and take a shower and then I like pick out my clothes, which takes a while, so then by 6.45 I'm rushing out the door to catch my bus. In the past that usually meant skipping breakfast, something 62% of teenagers do at least once a week. And now a new report is showing just how much that might affect them in the classroom. Hungry kids can't learn and we've known that for a long time, but now we know why they're not learning and what areas of the brain are, are really hindering that. In recent studies, researchers took brain scans of students and noticed differences between those who got proper nutrition and exercise and those who didn't. Composite scans show brain activity of students while sitting quietly and after 20 minutes of exercise like recess. The brain is much more active and the student is more engaged. They also looked at test scores between those who ate breakfast either at home or at school and those who didn't. There's a relationship between breakfast academic performance like better math scores, uh, things on standardized tests. So there's really a lot of compelling evidence for breakfast and why that's so important. The problem is not all schools offer breakfast and some are cutting back on recess. So groups like the American Dairy Association Mideast are funding nutrition and physical activity programs like their Fuel Up to Play 60 campaign. Something doctors say could not only help students learn, but schools excel. We've got a real opportunity to help teachers achieve their goals by putting a better student in the chair. In Columbus, Ohio, this is Clark Powell reporting.